Pick a card. Who likes you way more than you think? Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you at your reading. Hi friends, my name is Griselle with Psychic MD and I'm here to do another pick a card reading. Today we're going to be looking at who likes you way more than you think. It was a reading that I saw actually, was it yesterday, maybe on YouTube, and I thought that's an interesting concept and why the heck not. It appears to be lighthearted, it seems to be fun, so without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and get some Sagey Sage all up in this. And let's pick out our cards. Who likes you way more than you think? The Wheel of Fortune. We have the Four of Swords. And we have the justice card. Choose your pile and I'll see you there. Hi, pal one. My name is Griselle with Psychic MG. If you chose the Wheel of Fortune, you've arrived at your reading, of course. For those of you new to my channel, welcome, welcome. And for those of you that are repeat offenders, thank you so much for stopping back. So the first thing that I want to tell you is the Wheel of Fortune. This person has had a recent glow up. This person feels inferior to you and therefore feels like they needed to have a glow up before they can even approach you. So this could be romantic. This could be friends, family, employers. It doesn't even make a difference. Okay, we're reading for all the things. So I'm going to say for whatever reason, they felt like they had to come towards you right they had to come towards you with enough and I'm feeling like perhaps this person was overburdened with the inability to make money <laughs> frankly that's the feeling that I'm getting so that's one thing about them that you should know that'll help you identify this person let's get a little bit more energy check here what about pile number one's person or people who likes you way more than you know, way more than they let on? And like a little bit of information, please. Okay, let's just grab two. We've got the seven of pentacles and we have the three of cups. So this is someone who really took their time. They wanted to see if they wanted to invest with you. It could have been romantic, it could have, could have been platonic, but I feel like when they looked and they looked at their own coin, I feel like they, made a decision that they had to tend to their own field, meaning they weren't going to throw in their lot with you. This could have looked like many different re different ways. It could have looked like them going off and being with somebody else. If it's a romantic relationship, it could have been even in friendship, they decided, you know, I'm putting more into this and I'm just going to move on. Now, I can't help but notice right here, it appears to be like a cloud, but to me it looks a little bit like a sheep. So perhaps this is saying that this person went to tend to their sheep, their flock, if you will, if they're religious or if they feel um, like they really had to take care of their family before they take care of their own needs, that's another thing. Now I do feel like once upon a time, you guys experienced the three of cups together, the joys of being together, um, the joys of eat, drink, and be merry. It doesn't have to necessarily be like that, right? But I'm going to definitely say that you had some really good times with this person. And for whatever reason, perhaps they hit hard times. Perhaps they went off and had a child and this person had to um, kind of restructure their priorities and look at life differently. And I feel like now this almost feels like a one. The very first time that I like pulled it, well in front of the camera today it just looked like a wand and for me wands are very like fiery and this is like what I really want what I desire it's exciting it's crackling with life and yes it could indicate um your libido okay for those of you that are wondering so this person has had a glow up and I feel like they're looking at things to bloom I feel like they're way more centered than they ever have been um, and yeah, I definitely also feel like you guys could have had like a hair color thing. Like if you were BFFs, 
You could have had opposite hair color or hair color that somehow complemented each other. That's for somebody. Let's get a little bit more information about this person. Who likes pile number one more than they think, please? And a little bit of history, I'd like to know. Forever young, I want to be... Okay, really, sorry guys, it just happened. So forever young here, a song of youthful playfulness. And then we have friend zone. What happened here? A lack of passion in this companionship. Okay, so perhaps this is saying that this person had a, quote, youthful vibe to them. Perhaps they didn't want to settle down. Perhaps they wanted to sample all the spices of China and India and Australia and Jericho. I mean, I don't know. You get the point. Um, so I feel like they could have really been lustful and thinking about, okay, well, you know, if I throw my lot with this person, it's going to really temper me. It's going to curtail my shenanigans and I really have yet to live. So they made a choice to quote live. Now, I feel like this person, if this was a romantic thing and only you're going to know this, I feel like they always come back to you. They circle to you, even in their own mind, they circle back to you and they could have some really saucy memories. But for whatever reason, I feel like this relationship went cold. I feel like you withdrew and perhaps you didn't have a choice to do anything but withdraw. Um, yeah. Well, you know, what else can we say there? Divine timing is serendipitous event. Okay, and here's a clock right here. So I think that this person is definitely thinking about maybe re reunite, reuniting because it feels so good. I'm making up lyrics here because I think it's like reunited, not reuniting, but I think you get the point. So this person has been definitely thinking about you. They think about what it felt like to hold you in their arms and all the things. Now, it's really quite interesting because I'm having to look it out into yeah, the window as I often do. And I'm seeing an eye, like a big old giant eyeball. So I feel like this person's been eyeballing you. And for those of us that like to curse, not that I'm gonna, but I feel like I've been IFing you for quite some time, right? Pile number one, this person definitely wants to reach out. Expect a call or a text from your person of interest. And I feel like quite, you could have felt like maybe the, the stone cold chill of of the friend zone, right? I don't know if that's a thing, but I'm just saying like, perhaps you wanted something more and they just, you know, they're like, oh, let's be friends. But their problem is they wanted friends with Ben's, that kind of a thing. So make no mistake about it. This person does still think about you. I feel like you live in their head rent free. And because of the recent glow up, they want to rush and talk to you. I do feel like they had quite a bit, I don't know, some kind of a demise going on. Um, for some of you guys, they could have had something happen to their left leg. Like, I don't know, like sprained it or a break or something like that. But I'm going to say that... This person didn't expect to be stuck with the memories of you. And I don't mean it in a negative way, even though it sounded that way. So with this unexpected connection, it was definitely like an opposite thing. And, and maybe perhaps because this is saying forever young, perhaps your person or this person who has had like a recent glow up is, uh, was younger than you. That could have been a thing too. That could have definitely been a thing too. So this could be saying that it was an unexpected connection that, you know, the timing just quite wasn't right. And I feel like there's simpatico, like there's a lot of love and feelings for sure. But I feel like, she, I mean, she looks pissed. She has her RBF face on hardcore. So this person is going to have to like make some atonement, right? But regardless, I feel like even when you guys were together, even if there was an age gap, you guys looked really good together. Look at this couple. What? I mean, I'd be staring too. I'd be like, you guys look fine together. That's amazing. So this person could be thinking, you know, we look great together. We belong together or something. But I definitely feel like I'm getting romantic vibes and this person felt like, you know what, I need to mature or, you know, I can't let go of this connection. And all of a sudden, 
you know, I'm freeing up my life and I'm looking at things differently and I'm having a glow up and I feel like I definitely need to come to you correct because, you know, I friend zoned you or I didn't give you what you wanted. And I feel like the way she's sitting right here, I mean, she's pissed. So pile number one, she, he, you, I don't care how you identify yourself. I feel like you're pissed. If this is your story or narrative, then stick around. If not, go ahead and find something else to watch because this is where this is headed. Hook, line, and sinker. So you are worthy. This person is starting to finally realize that you're worthy. Your worth does not depend on the other person. And I feel like you're very much balanced about that. I think that, you know, I think you know that by now. Rendezvous. A private getaway for two is calling you. Yeah, and that could have been part of the problem. They could have called you for like, you know, those little midnight sneaky looks. Like, hey, what are you doing? Like, we're not connected formally. Or we have nothing going on. Or even worse, I've got somebody else. But hey, do you want to hook up? Those kind of things, okay? And I feel like this person, I don't know, something about their booty. Or they could be working on their booty. Or you guys could like could have met dancing or something like that but your chemistry was definitely off the charts I feel like this person um carries a torch for you and with the amethyst right here she's wearing amethyst dress I feel like there's been some healing in the relationship or you know situationship because I don't feel like y'all are talking I could be wrong show me more about what I need to see this person likes pile number one more than they let on especially if it's uh a friend zone where you only get a booty call. King of Swords, this person is coming back to bring you some clarity. If they haven't brought you clarity already, if they're not already in your life, um, mental clarity, intellectual power, truth. Ha, from this angle, I heard trash. I was looking at it, it was like, it looks like trash, but no, it's truth, Giselle. So they're coming back to bring you some kind of a truth, authority, reason, discipline, high standards, head over heart, integrity, and a serious... Oh, Inter integrity, serious, and strict. <laughs> That's really hard to say. You say it five times unexpectedly. I don't think so. All right. So I feel like pile number one, they are definitely looking at you. You looking so fun. You could have a really beautiful back. You could seem to be, I don't know, you could like to wear really flowy things. But I feel like you're you're doing super well. You're not waiting for somebody else's glow up and show up, right? I think that you're doing well by yourself. Abundance, luxury, self-sufficiency, self-worth, financial independence, leisure, rewarded efforts success and achievement so i think that you're looking after your own life and your own well-being you're not pining for anything um or anyone necessarily although this person this king appears to want to come back and give you well they want to run it for sure but um they want to give you clarity now interestingly enough i feel like you already know this now pile number one check this out Material att attachment. <laughs> I can't even talk. This person could have like gone off to chase material goods. They could have chased, yeah, the spices of life that I, you know, aforementioned. But I feel like also they were you know, hooked on the material. They're like, what makes me look good? What makes me glow up? What makes me stand out? What kind of a car do I get to drive if I, you know, decide to be with this person? Or what kind of a lifestyle could I have with them? What is the easiest way up? Because I want to be sitting tall and pretty. And I feel like that's what this is saying. Too much focus on visible trappings and workplace romance. This person could have met another lover at the workplace, okay? And they could have, like, you know, polished up and done their best to get their attention. And that's exactly what happened right here. So workplace romance, common cause, connection. Interesting. So, yeah, that could have happened. And I feel like that left you feeling cold, left you out in the cold. And this person wants to come back. Okay, so what of it? Let's see. What does this person want to say then? They want to come back. I mean, they want to bring clarity about what. Why is the King of Swords here, please, for pile one? If you're liking this kind of reading, do give me a like, share, comment, subscribe. What does this person want to say? Look, the King of Swords clarifies the King of Swords. You saw it here first, folks. Can't make this up. I then shuffled. I'm all on TV, but no, not really on camera. So for real, look, the King of Cups, this person wants to bring you clarity and truth, but they are fully armed. What do, what do you want to talk about? 
I want to bring you clarity and truth. I want to talk, but I don't want to be vulnerable. I want to hide. I'm still kind of in the shadows and I'm checking things out. That's quite interesting. What does this person want to talk to you about? Please, pal number one. What is this king of swords? What is the clarity they want to bring to you? The eight of swords. Okay. That's such a beautiful freaking card. Check that out. So they've been all up in their head. They have been blocked in so many ways that they can't see straight. And I feel like things are finally crumbling. Um, I think that they've taken the sword to cut away at the truths that they needed to be, to be able to see clear. Now, with that being said, I heard petty. I feel like what they thought and they were trapped in their mind about was actually petty. And it's starting to become clear. It's all coming back like Celine Dion. What? Seven of Swords here. This person, I feel like, left in a rush and left and had... They left in a whirlwind. I feel like they, they left a trail of fire behind them. And I feel like when their foot hit the pavement, they just continued running and Honestly, it feels like they've never quite stopped. And that's part of it. Something about this glow up and this change. Show me what this person wants to communicate, please. The Six of Pentacles, they want to come back and give to you. But it's interesting. Six of Pentacles is more about a balanced give and take. And I feel like this person is kind of judging and illuminating. It's like, wow, that was me. This is what I did. Like, I didn't really quite realize. Maybe they're facing some harsh truths about themselves that they didn't want to face up to. Okay. Show me more. What do they want to communicate? The Knight of Wands. Yeah. This Knight of Wands says, I was in and out. You didn't even see me for who I was. I was cloaked from head to toe in metal gear. Even my form, I was like a shapeshifter. Like when my foot hit the pavement, I was like over and out and gone. But every time I think I'm going to progress forward, I keep looking towards a past and I still carry a torch for you. Now be careful because this could st say that, you know, they still have this like, uh, sexual attraction to you that just will not go away and that could be the crux of it depending on this person page of pentacles okay well maybe not this page of pentacles can be saying that they actually have maybe a child that they fostered a child or had a child um with someone else or this could be saying that they want to come slowly towards you but honestly with all of this action and the, the king of swords i mean this is somebody who's like let's just get it over and done with. Yeah, they've been incredibly burdened. They've been on this journey. They feel alone. I feel like they're finally um, really making peace with, I heard the collective, with spirit, with themselves. And they're finally understanding who it is that they are. And I feel like they're understanding also what needs to end. So the Ten of Wands, somebody who's incredibly burdened, they're exhausted, they're burnt out. They've been overtaken by their commitments and their um, willingness to carry other people's burdens as well. And they're just, they're burnt out. Honestly, they're completely burnt out. But I feel like this person is looking into things with a new light. They're about to get rid of all of those burdens. Um, and that's what this is saying. One last one. Oh, goodness, not two. The magician, they're trying to manifest you. They're trying to manifest you. This looks like an animal. There's like a lot of different animals and critters. And I feel like this person wants to like hop back into the light and kind of be footloose and fancy free. Open up the curtain and be like, hey, I was hiding there the whole time. You didn't see me. You couldn't see me. But here I am. And um, I just kind of want to bring you clarity and I want things to change. And this is my true body. And the whole time that I interacted with you and the whole time that I was out of interaction with you, I was hiding behind all this armor. So it's this child almost, this youthful person in this heavy armor. And I feel like, you know, they, they've taken some stabs at life, stabs at people. They've taken some hits as well. And this has a lot to do with their reputation, with how they see themselves, um, which is quite unfortunate. It's not very spiritual to me anyways. But I also feel like, look at all this water jumping out here. I feel like they do have some emotion going on there that they're trying to hide. And they're ready to kind of kick the shell of themselves to the curb and be really authentic with who they are instead of who they're trying to be or who they're trying to portray themselves as. So that's what I have for you. Pile number one, much love to you. Until next time, namaste.
Hi friends, my name is Crystal with Psychic MD. Pile number two, if you chose this incredibly beautiful card, the Four of Swords, this message is for you. And I have to tell you, the Four of Swords is like one of my pet peeve cards, probably because Spirit is always giving it to me. It's like, yep, you need to rest. Yep, you need to rest. And it's super annoying. If you know me, you know. But anyways, here we are. Look at this card. I'm almost not even annoyed at all by it. It's just freaking beautiful. Pile number two. This could be stating that the person that really likes you way more than you think they do. That you, I feel like they've taken a break. They've taken a rest. They've maybe even tapped out. They could not even be anywhere near your life right now. I feel like they're healing, they're undergoing a major change, major turn of events, I heard. Look at these wings. <clears throat> I feel like um, something about maybe love, they could have been like, yeah, recuperating from heartbreak, heartache, something like that. Um, but I'm looking at the way that they're just kind of not even laying down, but they're just resting, right? This person needs a rest and yet they won't take time to rest. And I feel like part of the rest is that not only are they broken hearted, um, they've ha had a serious experience with a heartache or heartbreak, but they can't now get you out of their mind, which is really quite interesting because the three of swords, which is, you know, prior to the four talks about a betrayal. And this person could be saying that, Hey, Paul, number two, um, even though I betrayed you, I still think about you all the time, or I'm left with my own heartache and heartbreak thinking about the times that I betrayed you and thinking that, wow, this is what you must have felt when I did those things to you. So we're going to see where this goes. Pile number two, this person cares way more about you than you think. So out of sight, out of mind, this is not a thing for pile number two. Pile number two, who's this person? Who can't get you out of their mind. I feel like there is guilt. There's remorse. There's I want to come back. This was present in pile number one, by the way. The king of swords. I want to bring you clarity. I want to bring swift communication. This is the nine of cups. This is my wish. They have a wish to be granted and their wishes to be able to communicate with you directly, plainly, without like any floof, any nonsense. Look, they want to communicate the Ace of Cups. So they have, the, I feel like they finally, they want to make peace with you. They want to extend that, um, that cup. And that cup is just... Um, incredibly deep it's like yep i've always felt that way i still feel that way nothing has changed there's a lot of emotion rocking the ocean right here i feel like this person could have been through it and when they turn around right now um they're kind of like wow did i mess up or in this connection for some reason they feel an incredible heartbreak with you okay so i want to communicate all those things but they want to be able to do it to be able to bring peace to the situation, to the connection. The Hermit, this could involve a Virgo or somebody who has gone deep within to do some homework, to really go back and get some introspection on what is going on with their life. Even with the blue wings, I feel like this is stating, I wanna to fly towards you, I wanna to come towards you. If they live far away, they actually wanna jump on that plane, jump on that bus, plane, train, automobiles, it don't matter. They wanna to come towards you and communicate. Why? Because they've actually done some research on their own heart and they've delved deep within on all of their patterns from the past to bring out that which is the most important thing to them. And this is a solo journey, so I feel like even if this person was um, in contact with somebody else or in a situationship or in a relationship, I don't know your deal, right? I feel like regardless, this person had to really undergo Daddy Saturn's belt, okay? I feel like they kind of got whipped into shape by having to go back to the past and make amends and really take note of all the damage that they've done um, and any patterns that they themselves uh, participated in, in order to be able to move forward. And so I've taken some time out and they're currently still taking time out to really, really mourn and kind of process that. And I feel like that's what we're looking at here, but we definitely have Saturn right here. 
which is pretty impressive. Yeah, I feel like they got the spiritual belt. Whack. Okay, so with that, the Three of Cups, pile number two. They want to reconcile with you. The Three of Cups is definitely said to be a reconciliation card. I always think of it as like my party card. Now I have the three right here with the one. Of course, that makes four. And that makes me think of like kind of like an offer that was maybe overlooked. Maybe you made an offer. They made an offer. For some reason it fizzled out. And um, with all the roses, something could have to do with like flowers that was like very important to you or to them. But I feel like these flowers, it's like I'm hearing the eternal flower. It's like that, that desire never died. That feeling that they had for you hasn't died. What else do we need to know? Poor piles too. This is uh, the elements. They want to get back to basics with you. With the number 12 reduces to a three and again a little bit of a nod towards the um, reunion right here. They kind of they want to take things slow. They kind of want to you know regroup and what is it? Make an assessment and see what it is that they could actually do about this. They don't even really know, I feel, fully what they want from you or what they want to communicate. I feel like let's get some more answers here. What is it that they want to communicate? Because I have the King of Swords. What do they want to communicate and what did they retrieve from their past, from their journey inward? They want to communicate justice. They want to put the scales out of balance. They want to tell you, hey, things have been really, really unfair. Now, not for all of you, but for some of you, I feel like this involves like a father or father figure or baby daddy. And I'm going to say that was just a feeling that I was getting. It could involve a Libra. It could involve a Virgo. Um, but we have justice, fairness, universal laws, karma, cause and effect, truth revealed. Yeah. So if this is a situation that is ringing a bell, then this person wants to actually make amends with an apology. Um, I heard even there was money stolen. This obviously isn't for everybody. What else is going on here? Temperance, yeah, there's healing to be had. This person could have gone on a drug binge, alcohol binge, some kind of addiction binge and just disappeared or has simply never been there for you. And I feel like they're now paying their dues and their dues, I feel like they've actually removed the crown. They are listening to spirit finally and I feel like they're definitely connecting with spirit. It's been a long, hard road, but balance is going to be restored and balance very much closely echoes this justice card as well. So whatever it was that transpired between you and this person, things are about to be put back into balance for you. Uh-huh. A radical change for you. You don't see things coming. You don't see this coming at all, I feel, which is really quite interesting. Um, yeah, there's even a compass right here on the death card. And this really talks about like the direction. They know that they have to end this, this cycle, this way of doing things, this way of thinking about things. Um, they have to put an end to it. And if this is something that has to do with your family and your uh, genetic like DNA and things like that, or um, like generational curse, I feel like that, yeah, that would make sense with this feeling right here. I feel like they understand it and see it at last. Look, this definitely has to do with the Ten of Cups. Family, you guys, this is more of a family reading right here. For some of you guys, it could be romantic. Most of you guys, it's a brother or sister that, ha you know, kind of went by the wayward or something happened here and they had to go their own way. Um... Yeah, and I feel like they're coming back to bring you clarity, or at least that's what they want to. They kind of want to rush in and bring you news, but they know that it will not be received, perhaps because in the past they had this addiction, they had a feed and fuel, and you were the victim of like theft or um, maneuvering so that they can actually get what they wanted. Oh, don't be jumping like that. We don't have time for all these cards, no. Mm -mm. Nope. What else do we have here? Show me more about this, please. What's going on here? Real feelings. So I feel like they want to kind of reveal their real feelings. They want to be open with you. Um, it's a little fairy here. They could feel like maybe someone in the back of their mind, like all that guilt and stuff, somehow you rescued them from the dirt, in other words. 
So they want to share their feelings with you on what transpired dreams come true. And maybe this is something that you expected a long time. And maybe they tried to do the whole recovery thing and that just didn't quote take is what I'm hearing. So, um, and I heard dream on. So this could have been like dream on. Dreams come true and just be optimistic. But of course, you know, cautious, wise about things. What else does pile number two need to know? What does this person want to say, please? This Four of Swords. The Emperor. I feel like this is a dad. I'm no joke. This is the quintessential father, respect, leadership, father figure, divine masculine energy, structure, authority. So this could have been somebody who just wanted to control everything, control family dynamics. And I feel like they're about to just really step up to you and say, you know what? It is true. It's, you know, it's a mess. And I realized I followed the footsteps of so-and-so or I created this demise. I'm not trying to blame shift. And maybe they're trying to make, um, make amends with their family and things like that. And part of that includes you. Okay. Yeah. Tennis horns. It's been a very difficult and bitter battle. And, uh, you know how they say it's not over until they hit rock bottom and man, I'm not judging. I'm just going to tell you been there, done that. I've had my struggles. Okay. And so this is a very difficult position to be in because nobody can rescue you. And rightly so we put ourselves there. Um, by the same token, it takes a lot of bravery, a lot of courage, a lot of optimism to be able to get up out of that and to be able to make progress. But for now, they are healing. They are still healing. And I feel like, yeah, the best thing that you can do is just send them healing energy if you even feel motivated enough to. Some of y'all are still angry, bitter, and hurt, and I can understand that too. I guess I feel like I've been on both sides of this story. Okay, can you focus, please? This person, yeah, wants to communicate. They want to rush in and bring you clarity, but they are completely just worn to a nub. They've held their feelings in for so long. I feel like also this could have a lot to do with um, their personal image. They don't want to break that image. Like, well, I'm the, you know, why would I admit this, that, and the other? So there could be something to do with something like that. Like they just pride. That's what I mean. One moment, please, while I sip my tea. What else? They've been working hard. They've been working hard on things. They've been working hard to rectify their lives, to kind of get on the right, on the right side of the tracks is what I'm hearing, okay? Six of Wands, I feel like even you'll be impressed with their growth and their change. It doesn't mean you have to accept toxic people back in your life. Just because somebody cleans up, shapes up, and, and it's their timing and they've done good, it doesn't mean that you have to open up your arms. It would behoove you to just, you know, probably try to forgive or make peace some way, somehow. But it doesn't necessarily mean that even though you forgive and you wish them the best, that they have to be in your space. Five of Swords, yeah. Because there's a lack of trust. It's going to take a lot of trust to build that up. If this is a parent or somebody trying to come back into your life that, you know, this narrative is fitting, it's going to take a lot for them, yeah, to try to fix things and Rome was not built in a day and the tower didn't fall in a day either so I feel like there was just a lot of lying a lot of deception a lot of um leaving you hunting for information leaving you clueless just not understanding leaving you even trying to wave the white banner like I give up okay uncle I cry uncle okay I cry um and can can this be over kind of a thing, but just give me clarity. And I feel like right here, um, a lot of things unraveled and you never really quite understood why. And I feel like you're about to get your justice. The Six of Pentacles, this could have to do with money, with inheritances. Somebody could have, a family member could have squandered your inheritance. They could have given it to somebody else. They could have decided to divide it, you know, however many ways and not tell you about this. I feel like there was just a, yeah, look, the three of swords and that's where the theft could have come in. And this could be a really difficult thing for them to come clean with. Look, they want to move on to calmer waters. They want to be done with this. Six of swords moving on, trying to find peace, taking your experiences with you and not looking back, um, being able to understand those experiences and check this out. I feel like. 
look at your ancestors looking and it's like, what, you going to give them a chance? Well, that's entirely your call. I don't feel like here. Yeah, here's the sun. This is a yes, yes, yes um, card. And it doesn't mean your ancestors are like, hey, you need to take them back or you need to, you know, no questions. Once an apology, we should always apologize and open arms for all the world that, uh, you know, conduct themselves in a bad manner and then want immediate forgiveness. No. And this is a small apology. So yeah, this person, I feel like you're going to hear from them and the, the level of maybe I heard depth of despair, the pain, the things that they had put you in was really something. And there's nothing that we can say. All I can say is that other people saw this. There'd be two people that directly saw this. One of them could have lighter eyes. Um, and quite older than you. And the other one could be maybe a little bit darker than you. Could They could even dye their eyebrows. But I'm seeing that with the world right here, things have come to an end finally. And they are battle weary. I feel like there are at least three people involved in this betrayal. Okay. And this rocked your world. But with this world, I feel like this ending, Spirit's saying that this was more about giving you a beginning and enveloping you in a cocoon so that you could make the growth and progress that you desperately needed. Not because you deserve suffering, not because you deserve to be lied to or to be treated like that, or to be um, basically like the outcast or to be lied to. Yeah, I already said that, sorry. Um, but you needed these things in order for you to have empathy and compassion for other people. And sometimes that's really difficult to hear. But I feel like you have been able, yeah, look, you're the magician now. Ain't nothing scaring you. And even now I heard somebody say, I don't give a F. And that's how I talk. If you don't know, you probably know. But manifestation, focus, creativity, skill, turning visions into reality. And you have the willpower, desire, yeah, resource and availability. You have resources coming to you. Pile number two, this is really powerful, and I just want to give you a big hug. If this is your narrative, believe it or not, I can understand this too. And uh, sometimes people are so freaking incredibly selfish. It's amazing. But I'm going to say that in spite of it all, you are a warrior. You're incredibly powerful. I feel like you have come into your own and you are no longer looking for a handout. Literally, you're kind of like, I'm not even looking for that. That ship has sailed, literally. Um, and with any apologies coming my way, I feel like what you do want to know is who's hiding behind all here. Who knows? Because I feel like these are living. They're, they're like in your uh, family lineage right here. These people know what was done to you and about the betrayals and the theft and all that. So I think that that's coming. Are you going to get clarity? Queen of Pentacles, you're going to get money. You're going to get some part, like a piece of land or a house or something. Something is coming that's solid for you. So much love to you. If you're liking this kind of read, give me a like, share, comment, subscribe. This is kind of wild because I didn't expect this at all. But here we are. Yeah, and this person does care way much more than you thought because the way they treated you was so horrible. Um, who would treat somebody like that that they cared about. And uh, I feel you too. Much love to you. Big ol' hug. Until next time, namaste. Hi, pal three. If you chose this beautiful color, this beautiful color, this beautiful card, Justice, this message is for you. Check out them scales, baby. Beautiful. Okay. Pile number three. Did I say two? I probably did. Who knows? It's way past my bedtime. Pile number three. I'm gonna sage smudge. Sage and smudge. I feel like um, right before I started rolling the camera, I heard, I always feel like somebody's watching me. I got no privacy. And if you are old enough, then you know. You know what that song is. If you're not, you might want to look it up. It's a good song, but check out the lyrics, right? I feel like this person has been stalking you, I heard. Has been looking at you. Has been looking for a way to meet on equal ground. They feel like there is an incredible um, imbalance right now. 
going on with you and they're trying to gain information they're putting their ear to the ground ear to the door to listen okay so this person definitely has a lot more feelings than they're letting on to you okay i feel like also they're uh quite a bit undercover brother like they're not letting you know anything about this they could be spying on your social media they could be asking family and friends. They could be poking around just to see what kind of information they can stir up in order to level the playing field for them. Let's get a little bit of information on who this is. Who likes you way more than you know? Pal number three, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, appreciate it. And if you're a repeat offender, thank you for stopping back likes you more oh the knight of cups okay this person wants to bring you a romantic massage well a massage okay message i meant message with my fake accent okay don't judge me listen pile number three this person wants to talk to you about their home life about stability about integrity about unity you could be seeing the number 1111 we've got the four of wands here yeah they want to talk to you about this. Quite interesting. What are these scales here, please? Did I mention they could be a Libra? I think I did. Pile number three. What's going on here? For those that chose pile three, the justice. Who cares more for pile three? And they're not talking. What is going on here? They're waiting. Oh, Ten of Pentacles. This person can be, well, this person can have a family or this person can be very well off. Queen of Wands. I don't know. I feel like this person has like a family or they have like a situation. We have a situation. Um, We have a situation right here with a home life, I'm feeling, Okay. I feel like they want to offer you romance. They want to talk to you about their home life. I feel like you're coming across as a queen of cups, whether you're a he or a she, I don't care. But I feel like, it, you know, Cleopatra vibes. This is my quintessential um, actor. This is bright and shiny when you walk in a room. All eyes on me, right? One, two, three, all eyes on me. I feel like you have incredible magnetism and I feel like this person can't let go of that um and it's interesting because she is holding the sunflower right here interesting okay so then we have the three uh wands right here you could have been expecting this person to come back and talk to you okay i feel like you do most of you guys pile number three you know who this person is okay so i don't know if they got a family going on they got things right look that light just straight went out if they have things then you could be thinking like why are you bugging me then if you got things going on do your things like we don't we don't need to be doing all that you're doing too much right sometimes we have thoughts and other people are thinking other stuff so what do they want to communicate for pile number three please let's see what's going on here the page of pentacles i have a small offering i can't really offer you much i'm trying to get out of the situation but i'm working hard on it i'm working hard to get out of this financial situation that's the only reason why i'm together with this person i mean haven't we heard that before right um i don't even date much but i'm gonna say that i see a lot of people in this situation like they're living with their um I don't know, with, with our ex-wife, ex-husband. I've known people like that. And they're like, oh, it's because of the finances. And while I get that, I'm kind of like, yeah, well, I'm sure you get that too. <laughs> I mean, it's really difficult to believe that 95 to 98% of those situations don't include other stuff going on there that they're not really, I don't know. It's just messy. This feels messy. Pile number three, is that what you want? A small, tiny little offer. Let me offer you some love. Is that what's going on here? What do they want to communicate? Why is the justice card here? Why is this even playing field? A desire to even the playing field. The five of wands. What? The five of wands and the five of pentacles? There was a fight and they got left out in the cold. Or you got left out in the cold. 
there was a fight, there was an argument, a situation. Um, and one of you guys, well, you're not talking anymore. That's the end of the story right there. There has been no communication. I feel like with a, a three of wands here, you've been waiting for communication. And this person's waiting for balance. What exactly is it that this person wants? Like, what, what would balance the situation for them to be able to come towards you? The king of wands. They want to feel kind of on top of the world. They want to feel like their confidence is back. They're a mover and a shaker. So something happened that knocked them from this confidence, okay? So maybe you had a discussion. Maybe you had a disagreement. Hello? Maybe we have a jumper. One moment, please. Maybe we have two jumpers. Two jumpers. Page of wands. And the king of pentacles, Okay. So the Page of Wands, this is immature activity, premature activity. This is also a focus on the male member, if you get what I'm saying, right? So this could be saying that this person acted prematurely and there was a battle. There was a fight. Other people could have been involved. Obviously, there's a situation ship going on right here. There are five wands going on right there and they got in it with you too. Could didn't have to be like a big thing. I don't feel like, you know, like I'm a lover, not a fighter. But it didn't have to be a big fight. I feel like um, there was some sort of a, the emperor. They wanted to kind of, they wanted to come across as like they have it all figured out. That they have things in control. And what they want to communicate is they want to come from a point of balance. Like... Things have ended. Things are under control. I have the situation under wraps. Um, it could have taken time for this person because they're working on things. That's what they're communicating uh, to put an end to things. Okay, maybe. And I'm not saying, you know, we're wishing anybody breakups and shakeups. And that's just nonsense. There's so many people on this earth. I mean, to think that you want to fix, say, on one person and wish them ill is just foolish, I think. But. That's just my brain. Now, look at this right here. We have the Three of Pentacles. And look at this is interesting. Okay, did I mention that already? Check this out. Three chicks. Okay, so this person, I feel like this person could have had like a girl in every port. At least three people right here indicated. Um, mm -hmm. Anyways, that's my quintessential uh, mess around. What, what are they saying nowadays? F around and find out, right? But I think that this person could have just, you know, offered one coin to all these different females and gotten themselves in a big mess. And now it's like rocking their stability. Show me more. Why are these cards here, please? Oh, no, you did not. This person is straight messy, okay? One moment, please. This person wants to come and like, I don't want to say vomit all over you, but tell you, oh my goodness, and all these things, and I've been working so hard to try to figure things out and come into a balance, and one moment, please, oh goodness, uh-huh. This person wants to tell you, I haven't been that happy. And I haven't been content, even though I have like a family. It's like I oscillate between this is what I want. No, I don't. This makes me happy. No, I don't. This is the reason that I have emotional gratification. Um, children can be involved. Loyalty is in question. This is messy. Okay. No. Mm -mm. I don't like this for you at all. Pile number three. We have the King of Cups. This person can like his cups. Make no mistake about it. I almost feel like this is, yeah, like a child with two hands grabbing here. There's another hand here. Uh, another person standing here. They're like surrounded by people. I feel like this person cannot be by themselves. Never alone. This person is old enough to know better. Um, I feel like this person is drinking hardcore. Or, um, yeah, a lot of cups, a lot of emotion, a lot of emotion, and they can't deal with it. What else? The sun. Okay, so 
I feel, it's like, this is my yes card. Yes, yes, yes. And I just saw almost like a bottle of Coke popping off. So somebody could be popping off saying, yes, this is what I want to say to you. Um, and they could be thinking about you long into the night. And I think that when they think about you into the night, into the night, sounds so dramatic. I feel like it's a journey. And when they go within their mind, it's like they get all lit up, like happy thinking about you. Even if things obviously ended not so great. This is sideways. So we have the Queen of Swords. Let me tell you, they're dealing with another female. And this person is a bitch. You heard it here first. This person cuts with her words. This person doesn't care. And when she's on the side like that, she'll wield that sword. It don't matter who she cuts. Kids, spouses, she'll dice it all up and have it for breakfast. Ain't no joke. The three of cups. Yep. Quite a bit of parting ha happening right here. And things are just not going so well. And the upright, this could be like, oh, you know, things are getting along. People are getting along. It's a lot of fun. Sideways here. It's like sometimes it's fun. Sometimes it's not. It's a mixed bag. Whether this person turns out to be a B-I-T-C-H. I just said the word. A lot of fighting going on. A lot of fighting. Look, a lot of struggling. A lot of jockeying for a position. And I almost saw this as like bones, even though this is not like any of my, um, my deck like that. But five of wands is competition. This is jockeying for a position. This is I'm right. Do it my way. This is I'm the one in control here. And this is the eight of pentacles. This person's like, I don't know if I have the energy to even put up a fight to rectify this, to make matters correct. Even this appears to be part of like the scales that we're looking at. And this person, I feel like they're, they're like, they're feeling small. It's like, well, I don't really have the money to kind of end the situation. It's cheaper to keep her. I had a boyfriend tell me that once, by the way, that was a lot of fun. Totally built my self-esteem. <laughs> Anyways yeah just kidding um i'm gonna say look this person is talking until they're blue in the face but bottom line they feel like they're a little child okay and they are just trying to gather their money and it's like it seems like child's play they need to make some big moves big decisions before they can think that they're on the same playing field as you or even think about what what it means to rectify and balance the scales. I feel like this person's thinking, well, if I just make the effort, if I start just trying, if I just kind of do these things, and well, I tried once, you know, yeah. This person needs a little, learn a little bit more about self-love, about loving themselves and what that really means. And this person needs to understand that waking up in the morning and being able to look in the mirror with nothing in your home, like not a coin, not, not a nothing, is so much better and it feels so good and so much lighter than having you know this beautiful house and home and this image that you want to um, present to the world and yet you're freaking miserable on the inside and there are nothing but fights in your home too what's up with that they need some self-love Okay, so yeah, they could have a little bit of Peter Pan syndrome. They could be running after their youth, running after lust, feeling that time uh, ticking. Oh, don't do that. Yeah, this person's straight messy. My cards keep wanting to fall like over and over and over. And I feel like that's this person. This person can even have like, I don't know, some issues with like falling quite a bit. Maybe like getting sloppy drunk and falling. I don't know what is going on here. If you're familiar with this, because let me tell you, I am. Let me see what's going on here. What do they think is going to balance the situation, please? The five of swords. Oh, they think they can come in with like a little coin. Oh, hey, let me kind of, yeah, I'm making some effort. Yeah, I, I've let them know that I, I really want out. We're going to wait till the kids graduate. And then we're going to go ahead and go our merry ways. We sleep in separate bedrooms. Yeah, they're okay that I live my own life. And they, this person lives their own and all sorts of bull crap. Don't believe it. Let me tell you. Yeah, they're not going to tell you everything. They feel like if they tell you everything that you're not going to that you're not going to um go for it. But the interesting part is that I feel like if they were honest with you, they would stand a chance. All the lying gives them zero chance. Okay. Yeah. 
So this person, you could have waited for them for quite some time. I feel like, <laughs> yeah, they're looking at and seeing, okay, well, I plowed the fields with this person or we kind of have land together and it's going to be messy. It is messy. So keep your mess on your side of the street and quit messing around. Judgment. So, yeah, they know that you're going to be judgy towards it. And and that's why they want to kind of lie and dip their toes in the sea. And it's like, well, maybe if I get a, a green sign, then I can progress further in this situation. And and um, I want to know. I'm going to pull out this other deck I had no intention on using. If you're still here, we're going to get into it real quick, okay? Pal 3, this is meant seeing. Show me what I need to see. Oh, for God's sake. They are just literally falling everywhere. Pile number three. What's going on with this person, please? Picture. Looking at your pictures. Missing you. Nostalgia. They want to make new memories, for sure. Look. Fear of abandonment. Chasing. Codependency is the chaser. So I feel like they become the chaser and then the pursuer. Wedding rings. Union, marriage, soul connection. Everlasting love and devotion. I feel like they don't even really quite understand what this is. They have to have that self-love first before they can commit to anyone. That should not even be on the radar. Addiction. Yep. Yep. You heard it here first. Codependent. Obsession and restraint. Possession and control. Emotional block. Coffin. Yeah, that's what they need to do. It's a new beginning, liberation, reborn, transition, and tragic ending. So they actually do need to put a nail in the coffin for their betterment, not even taking you into account. Not to be mean or anything. Pile number three, you know, like I'm your ride and die. But this person needs to figure themselves out. Yeah, they're the runner. Fear of intimacy, running away, intensity, and letting go. Turmoil and fleeting. Yeah, so they can come in all hot and bothered. Look for the passion. Insane chemistry. They feel like they have that with these sparks and having fun, equal interests, and burning desires. But what's going on at home? Camera. Reminiscing, making memories, learning from the past. Their partner can know about you. Backstabbing, heartbreaking pain, separation loss, deception, shocking attack. Yeah, there's gossip about you. Gossip about your connection, interest, awaiting messages, text calls, emails. Your messages could be open to the other party. Um, and you know, if they're living with them or they have a thing going on, rightly so, I feel. Sword in the Rose. Clarity and the Truth. Revelation, Honor, and Protection. Determination. Let me just see what is... What is this person for pal number three? They like you way more than you think. But man, it sure don't feel like it, does it? Pal number three. What is their next action, please? Ha. That's funny. Hello. Hello, pal three. I'm calling for thee. Expressing love. Messages of love. Thinking of you. And forming you. I want to bring you messages of love. Why don't you bring clarity? Why don't you deal with your own biznatch? The butterfly. Evolving in growth. Next phase. Healing the inner child and releasing the past. And last card, please. Not today. Boundaries and her avoiding conversations. Not dealing and still upset. Mm -hmm. burr, 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 burr. Don't you fall you are way too messy. If you get involved with this person, it's going to be a hot mess and nothing but drama. I mean, look at this. I feel like people chasing you, chasing them, drama with phone calls, pictures back and forth, um, unexpected phone calls, people showing up on your, do you want that? That's like worse than a telenovela. No, thank you. Look, soulmates, soul connection, partnership, soul contract, life partner, and paradise, happiness, and joy, playfulness, enjoying each other. You know, I just don't think that's the reality. I feel like this person is in la-la land. And I feel like they're trying to gain control by nefarious means. It's like, let me control this. Let me uh, damage control this. Let me put out fire here. Oh, that's better. But it's not. But it's not. The Eight of Cups. They they know that they need to walk away, but they can't. They they know they they want to walk away, but then I don't. I do and I don't. They can't figure it out. The seven of cups. Yeah, they're still looking at their options. Well, 
pal three and let them look at their options. And when they think they figure it out, give them even more time. <laughs> Because they haven't figured out a damn thing. I'm just going to put it like that. Much love to you. If you're liking these kind of readings, again, give me a like, share, comment, subscribe. And until next time, much love to you. Namaste.